Now the ANC in Tswane has a new captain after a successful conference that concluded this past weekend. Of course, uh, comrades uh, voted in uh, Dr. Jose Maeba as the new chairperson in the region. Uh, that of course has a mammoth task now ahead of him to make sure that he claims back um, the dignity, the integrity and of course the credibility of the party that he has to take back uh, to the people of uh, Tswane. Now it's a party that of course has has lost the capital city in 2016 during the local elections. Now, I started off by asking him whether he was satisfied with uh, the past weekend's conference that saw him emerge as the new leader in the region. The decorum of conference, the mood in conference was a joyful mood. The people were celebrating that at least after a dark period in Swane. We emerged with a united ANC, with programs that are going to help us to revitalize on the ground and make sure that we bring back the city in the hands of our people. The people of Tswane rejected the ANC in uh, 2016. And right now you are at the helm of the party in the region and you're leading with the same uh, people who were rejected by the residents of Tswane. Can we really say that there's change and there's a vision of hope. So our members are more disciplined now. They know that our people are watching every move that we make. They never rejected the ANC. In fact, they were unhappy about how things were happening in the ANC. So we can never say that our people have rejected the ANC. They never rejected the ANC. But not voting is a rejection. It may not be permanent, but at the time, the people of Tswane had turned their backs on the ANC. There was a rebellion, I must say. A rebellion in the sense that people were not happy with the way the ANC was running its affairs. They were not happy with the internal squabbles in the ANC itself. They were not happy about the way we reacted when members of the ANC were told about how things will pan out. Then they went to the streets and so on. So our people in their magnificent variety and cultures in Tswane have always rallied behind the ANC. And they are now saying, with renewed vigor out of this conference, they would like to come back again and sit with the ANC on the table and say, how do you want us to take us forward? So our people are still in the ANC stable, in their majority. What we just have to ask them is to ask them to have confidence to come back to the voting po uh, uh, booth and vote for us at the polls. So what's the biggest error committed in 2016? Have you identified what this is and how will you go back to our people? to ensure that they know that you know what the error is and you're willing to fix it. Something that was a bad value which is arrogance. The leadership of the ANC previously had cautioned and from previous conferences even when Khalima Mutlante was still the Secretary General of the ANC that with power there were a lot of things that came in the ANC. The issue of arrogance, the issue of uh, factionalism that gripped the ANC, the issue of uh, buying of delegates at conferences, the issue of gatekeeping of membership in the ANC. Remember, many community members are also members of the ANC. So they had experienced some of these things. Patronage that was dispersed to favor certain individuals, not the collective in the ANC and not communities. So there were a number of issues that we had documented, as I said. And most of them <coughs> were mainly the things that we knew. There were also palace politics. By palace politics, I mean the intra-politics that happened, where people and members of the ANC fought each other for positions, which also caused a lot of strife in the ANC, and communities saw that as well. So those are the things that made people disappointed about the ANC, because the ANC could not resolve even a position of a mayor who was supposed to be the next mayor. So the communities were watching and they were looking at reports from the media about those things. But we have passed that era. That's why I said we had documented them. What we are saying right now is that palace politics should not be expressed to communities. And at the conference we saw that there were palace politics as well there. But we managed to go and vote without violence and to get an outcome that all of us now accept. Lobby groups have been now dismantled and demobilized. The only lobby group is the lobby group of the ANC to get votes in 2019 and 2021. But also, the people of Tswane must get our new vision. And our vision is a twin task that I want to explain now. First of all, 
with all the documented problems, we are going to do away with gatekeeping of membership of the ANC because many, many people want to be in branches of the ANC. So in the ANC, you won't have a situation where, because I don't like Ms. Fisahi, she doesn't get membership. Everyone, all the gates of membership will be opened now. Secondly, we want to build a cadre who is competent and sufficiently qualified and knowledge and skills to go and be a cadre that is deployed by the ANC in the municipality when we get it back.